Hello chemists and welcome to another exciting episode of Bale's Chemistry. Today we're looking at a new part of the AQA A-level chemistry specification, which is 2.6 reactions of ions in aqueous solutions. It follows on closely from the 2.5 transition metals and is also covered in paper one of your final exams. If you haven't already watched the transition metals videos, there's a link at the top of the screen now. It's worth making the time to make sure you're familiar with these episodes before you start on this topic. A metal aqua complex is a metal ion surrounded by water ligands. They're very common and many of the complexes we looked at in the transition metals topics were actually metal aqua complexes. Due to the relatively small size of the water ligand, especially when compared to ligands like chloride, all the complexes we're going to look at form octahedral shapes. Now, there's lots to look at with these complexes, but within the scope of the AQA specification, there are a few specific examples and reactions of these complexes that we need to know. We're going to look at these in detail over the next couple of episodes. We only need to know about four different metal aqua complexes, and we can split these by the charge on the metal ion. As water ligands have no charge, this is the same as the overall charge on the complex. The two plus metal ion complexes that we need to know about are copper two plus and iron two plus. For the three plus metal ion complexes, we're gonna look at aluminum three plus and iron three plus. As we're looking at both the iron 2 plus and the iron 3 plus metal aqua complexes, it's important that we know that if left exposed to air, the complexes containing the iron 2 plus are easily oxidized to iron 3 plus. This doesn't just happen with the iron 2 plus surrounded by water ligands, but also happens when they're surrounded by other ligands as well. All of these water complexes make slightly acidic solutions. This is because some of the water ligands slightly dissociate, releasing H plus ions into the solution. These H plus ions change the pH of the solution. It's only a very small dissociation and it causes the solution to become weakly acidic. You can see here the two equations which show the process happening. It's important to note the correct charges for the metal complexes and that these reactions are equilibriums. In the reaction, the complex is in solution surrounded by more water molecules and produces H3O+. This is shown because the H2O has gained the H plus ion from the complex. In some cases of acid dissociation, we sometimes remove the water from both sides of the equation and just show the H plus on the products. There is a difference in acidity between the two plus ions and the three plus ions. Three plus metal ions are smaller than the two plus ions and have a higher charge, which means they're more polarizing on electrons in the bond. This draws the electrons in the coordinate bond closer to the metal ion, which in turn weakens the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen atoms in the ligand. This weakening means that it's easier for the dissociation to happen. So the equilibriums we just looked at lie further to the right for the three plus ions. So there you go, a quick introduction to the chemistry of metal aqua ions. We're gonna be looking at this in a lot more detail over the next couple of episodes. If you haven't already, subscribe below. Make sure you've hit the like. And if you've got any questions, throw them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.